Hello again, it's your friendly neighborhood host, J.T. Wheatley, back for another edition of the Classics with the History of Comics podcast, this time with Sleeper by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. This is a classic 24-part miniseries that was divided up into two uh, 12-issue seasons, as uh, they called it, in which it originally stars Col- uh, Holden Carver, who was a super-powered um, agent who was sent to, uh, into deep cover into the Teo's uh, criminal organization, only for the one guy who knows who he is an uh, undercover operative, John Lynch, being put in a coma. So he's basically left hanging and uh, finds himself being pulled deeper and deeper in this criminal organization where the only way to survive is to act more like a criminal. To all, Holden is not sure if he even is a good guy anymore. Just a great twist on the classic superhero series. And, of course, this is part of the DC Wildstorm um, Era that I still consider the golden age of this uh, company when they left Image and it was part of DC, but still separate, a separate storyline. As a result, Jim Lee, who uh, technically still over, owned and overran it, allowed the uh, stories to uh, take on um, edgier tone. Like, like I said, this is where Storm Watching Authority came from. But uh, also, this is this great little series, too, that's kind of underrated and just a true classic within the end because it's just a great crime noir series wrapped in the superhero genre. At the time, you forget it is a superhero genre. Yeah, there's Tayo is like this super powerful, super intelligent uh, criminal mastermind who is ultimately compelling just by how smart he is, that, which makes him so interesting, to the point where you uh, think that, does he know Holden's an uh, undercover agent or not? Is he just playing the game? Or is it part of his larger game? He's, he's that smart and that cool and compelling. He's one of those criminals that even though he's truly evil and a bad guy, he's so good at what he does, you, you can't help but root for him. He's that kind of criminal that you just really enjoy. And Holden Carver's uh, story is really compelling. Just like you can tell he's a good man just fighting to survive, left in a really untenable situation, especially as he gets close to his other fellow criminals like Ms. Mary, Misery, who he has um, starts developing a romantic feelings for. And all in all, this is Brubaker, who was a master of the crime genre in general, as, you, as his later series Criminal came out with. But it's also matched beautifully by Sean Phillips' his gorgeous art. It just has this great crime noir feeling to it. So, yeah, just all in all, just a fantastic series. It ends with a perfectly satisfying ending that's perfect for a crime noir story. Like, crime noir, is, as uh, people tell you, the thing about no one's really uh, clean in these ther- series, and everyone gets, doesn't walk away with a little dirt in their hands. So, yeah, just a great read from me in the end. Fantastic example of the golden age of the DC Wildstorm uh, comic line before, once again, it was sadly integrated into the larger DC universe, which I still hate. It should have been kept separate because these characters deserve their own universe to play around, and they work so well that way. But uh, you can still go back and read some classic stories like this. So, yes, if you can, check out Sleeper. It is a true classic. Look, we gotta talk. Yeah, Thunder Talk. We're going all kinds of sideways with that sweet nerd junk. Woke nerd junk. It's topical. Political. Dare I say radical. We've got all your latest news and reviews. Hot music. And a whole lot of comedy. But it ain't for kids. Definitely mature content. So let's talk. Let's talk Thunder Talk. Thunder Talk is a proud member of the ESO Network. Now it is January 26, 2023, time for the favorite comic book of the week, The Human Target, number 11, by Tom King and uh, Greg Smallwood, that uh, finds uh, Christopher Chance finally confronting Ice over who poisoned him from the very beginning, as all is revealed all while they're enjoying a nice day on the beach. Well, uh, well, a little, well uh, kind of a normal day on the beach, factoring with Ice making some cool ice sculptures so they can enjoy themselves. Tom King does a great job that's finally revealing everything. It's the penultimate uh, uh, issue of this uh, story. As uh, the mystery of who poisoned uh, Chance is finally revealed, and as uh, many people say, sometimes the best answers to a mystery are the simplest ones, as Chance points out in this uh, story. It also does a great job, too, of uh, developing both Chance's relationship with Ice and Ice herself, as she reveals some secrets about herself, and as you see a side of her personality you haven't seen yet. And it's all matched beautifully by Greg Smallwood's 
gorgeous art, which managed to make things have a nice crime noir feel to it, even though it's set place on a nice sunny beach. It's just people trying to enjoy themselves, but there's an edge to it, like a, it makes it everything looks gorgeous. It's, it's also, quite frankly, once again, a very sexy issue. The, the relationship between Chance and Ice is just almost uplifting, and you hate where the, the you almost hate where it is going. But uh, with that killer cliffhanger at the end, leading into the series finale, uh, can't wait to see where this goes and what the ultimate reveal is going to be. But all in all, this has been one of the best limited series in years. Tom King's at his best when he works in this kind of format. Long format, not as great, but give him a short 12-issue series or so forth, perfection for the most part. So yeah, if you're looking for just a great read in general, easily one of the best comic books by DC on the stands right now, check out The Human Target. And with that, we'll conclude for this edition of the Classics. Join me again next week with another edition. And until then, go enjoy yourself with a good comic book. And if you can, check out Sleeper by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, because that is a true classic. <laughs>